Hello everyone and welcome to your guidance from the Animal Spirits reading. This is a pick a deck reading so your choices are the Spirit of Animals Oracle, Divine Animal Oracle, the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle, and the Spirit Animal Oracle. So go ahead and decide which one of those decks is calling your name to bring forth special guidance and messages that you need right now from the animal spirits. I will start with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. There are timestamps for the others below. All right, so let's see what is going on for you guys. And I'm just gonna get this set up a little better. Pull your cards. And these are the overall energies, the main messages that the animal spirits wish to bring to you right now. Okay, you have the horse and it says freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength you follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams so you are breaking free from something there's some manifestations that are on the horizon for you first thing they want to talk about and also those of you that uh, consider the horse your personal animal totem this is very synchronistic and significant for you. Next out is the Puffin and this is about partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So there is love and support coming in for you as well and that's what they want to talk about if you've been in hermit mode if you've been really closed off it's time to open up and uh, join the game of life open your heart to others you will have a lot of uh, positive things stem forth from that okay and lastly look at this we have the ladybug and good luck, good luck is on your side. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. So there is a lot of positive energy headed your way. And I know right now the world is in a state of mourning and confusion. So what the animal spirits are saying to you at this time is to break free from the lower vibrational energies and rise into the light and hold that space for yourself and for others. And you know, there's a higher purpose for you. A greater purpose calls you. Rise into the light. See where spirit's trying to take you and guide you. And there is new um, connection coming into your life or you are reconnecting and really strengthening um, you know, partnerships in your life where there's loyalty, there's support, so you're not going to be alone, and you have some good luck coming in. All right, so let's pull some tarot. Temperance, the swan, new dreams, new realms. Two of the four-legged, uh, the porcupine, balance, work and play. This would be the two of pentacles. And the queen of the four-legged, which would be the queen of pentacles, the lynx, hidden knowledge and creativity. Yes, things are going to shift and change for you. Seven of the winged ones, which would be the seven of swords, the magpie, proper use of secret knowledge. So um, there's things that happened in the past here that um, got to you that, you know, were not fair. 
you felt as though uh, maybe you were betrayed, stabbed in the back, really let down, okay? And sitting on top of temperance, that energy is now going to start coming into balance because this is in the past. It could have to do with a Sagittarius or you could be a Sagittarius, but you are breaking free from the heartache of the past, something that just really got you that felt very unfair, unjust to you. Um, here we have the Queen of Ancients, which would be the Queen of Wands, Crocodile, um, Primal Strength, and Creation. And so in the present, right now, you're regaining your balance, your footing, okay? Um, and you might feel like um, some resources are scarce at this time, but that's going to shift. You're going to move into a period of prosperity here, um, especially with the Queen of Pentacles being going into the future with that good luck. There's some people that are going to come in and help you out. You are not going to be alone. A fire sign um, could be very significant in helping you out and coming in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And here with this Queen of Pentacles, we have the Devil, which is the Raven. It's shape-shifting and light in dark. So you are shifting out of some darkness, a heavy experience, some sadness into the light. And you are going to feel prosperous um, you're gonna feel you know confident and more secure than you have been coming in to this reading okay and the time frame of this could be different for each of you what I see is there's an injustice here for you in the past and you're gonna start shifting that energy somebody's coming in to help you with that to restore your faith okay and then that projects you into the future in a very prosperous energy with a lot of luck, a lot of positive karmic return coming your way, shifting out of the darkness into the light, okay? So very, very positive things happening. You are breaking free. There's this a lot of love for you with this partnership, and you are moving into a period of prosperity. So let's pull some animal runes. All right, new hope. This is the dolphin. Yes, you are going to be healed. Right here, we have the vulture, the cleansing. So you are regaining your footing and your balance and going into the future. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have the coyote with balance. Any of these animals that have come out on any of the cards here, including this ladybug, the insect, if that is an animal that is special to you, you consider that your animal guide, um, your animal totem, they are speaking to you very specifically in this reading. What they represent on the card that they came out on is a very special message for you. So with the swan, um, we have new dreams and new realms, and the dolphin sits on that with new hope. So if the swan is special for you, there's... Uh, a lot of new energy coming your way. The dolphin backs that up. Here, um, the porcupine, if the porcupine is special and significant for you, this is speaking about the balance really coming in to your life, okay? And uh, if you've been feeling really lackful um, and not so abundant, that's going to shift. Energies are balancing out. The links over here, this is letting you know you are stepping into a position of power and material gain and abundance moving forward. The raven, you are coming out of the dark into the light in a very big way. The crocodile, you're going to realize how strong and resilient you are and all your experience is transforming into wisdom. The magpie, you are tapping into some ancient secret knowledge within your your soul that's going to help guide you and lead you the dolphin there is something very special happening for you okay a deep healing coming in the vulture 
cleansing, shedding the past, finally letting go, coming into acceptance, creating the space for new energy, the coyote, um, you know, coming into your partnership and not feeling alone, the ladybug, oh my gosh, you are going to be super lucky, the puffin, um, special love coming in and the horse, you are free, you are free, and maybe that's just what you have to tell yourself is that you are free, okay, but you are, so very beautiful reading for you guys, there is a lucky period up ahead, there is a return of your positive energies that are coming to you, okay, you are meant to have this good luck, um, and this, you know, you are a bright energy, you've got to honor and appreciate who and what you are, even when you make mistakes, even in the moments where you don't feel so lucky or you're feeling alone, those are the times to be there for yourself the absolute most. But you're coming into a period of prosperity, of good luck, of harmony, okay? And there are people that are coming in to love you, to support you, and saying, accept yourself for who you are, exactly as you are. Feel confident about being you. You are perfect as you can be we are all works in progress okay nobody is perfect and it's time for you to really feel free and to roam and to not feel um, like pinned in or like you don't have options just feeling very alone let's pull the final card for advice flow. Go with the flow as water trickles down a stream. Do not hurry. Spirit is saying all things and perfect divine timing, my friend. Trust the process. What was taken from you will return to you in a new form. There's a lot of positive energy coming your way and a deep healing coming into your heart space. Go with the flow. Let the waters uh, wash you clean inside and out. All right. So those are the messages from the Spirit of the Animal Oracle, bringing in the animal spirits. I hope that this has helped and brought you some clarity. I am sending you all lots of love and light. Take care. All right, so let's get right in to the, the Divine Animal Oracle and see what the animal spirits have to say to you, what they want you to focus on, what they want to let you know that's happening in your world. Oh, look at this. First out the gate, we've got the Black Panther. Independent, clever, fascinating. You are being guided to observe your surroundings and keep your own counsel. Find clarity and then express your inner and outer beauty to the world. Pounce on the opportunities that feed your soul with purpose and passion. Awaken to your personal powers, talents, and freedom. Ooh, so right now is time to keep your, you know, bigger plans under wraps. Not let anybody know what you're up to, where you're headed, where you're going. And as opportunities come your way, it's time to jump upon them, even if it feels risky, even if it feels scary, okay? It's time to act, It's and you'll know when, okay? There's nothing about this being premature. You will know in your heart and soul, I've got to act now. I've got to make my move. I've got to do this. You'll just know. Follow through with that. You will have a lot of prosperity. But also with the Black Panther, hang it back in the shadow. Observe. Keep your cards close to your chest. There's a lot that's going to be revealed to you. Next out is the Ladybug. Yay! Personality, change, happiness. You are being guided to move in a new direction. Your new life begins today. Embrace this new transformation and navigate your way towards your heart's desire. Believe in yourself, others, and the divine, and you will manifest amazing things. Yes, another confirmation to act upon those opportunities, those inner nudges. 
you'll know when. The ladybug also brings with her some lucky energy. So this is positive and this is happiness change moving into a place of happiness. And now we have the wolf. Loyal, alert, playful. You are being guided to lead by example. Be kind, compassionate, and have unconditional love towards yourself and others. Access your inner brilliance. Utilize your infinite power. Break free from any limitating paradigms and begin to walk your new path. So the animal spirits are really coming in strong, telling you you need to be true to you, which you feel, which you believe, which you think is right. And, um, you know, not be afraid to stand in that position because sometimes even if what you think and feel is against the majority of what everybody's saying and doing, that doesn't mean that you abandon yourself and your beliefs and what you feel inside of you. It doesn't make you wrong and them right. And your the uh, animal spirits want you to really know that. They want you to connect in with yourself and believe in yourself and recognize your personal power and your ability and really stand back and observe the crowd, okay? Observe the crowd. See what's really going on. A lot will be revealed to you. And you have a strong voice. You have a voice of change. So um, use it to the highest good of yourself and others. And you know, right now, the world is in this period of sadness and mourning. It's going through a big change. And you guys might have a lot to do with this, okay? You might have ideas. Um, you might be the forefront of bringing in new energy, bringing in change. And the spirit animals are saying, we back you. We've got you. Stand in your personal empowerment. Claim it. Own it. And use it for the highest good of all. Very beautiful opener for you guys. Let's pull some tarot and go deeper. I just want to shuffle these really good. I know nobody likes long shuffles. I'm sorry. I just want to really get it right. I've got to feel it. Okay, there we go. What do we have? The Seven of Ancients, which would be the Seven of Wands, and it's the Toad. Inner Strength and Resources. Next is the Nine of the Winged Ones, which would be the Nine of Swords, the Loon. Answers, Hopes, and Dreams. And we have justice, which is the elephant, ancient power of justice at play. Wow. You see, you, my friend, are a very powerful being, especially with the elephant coming out, the wolf, and the black panther. Yes, you are a wise old soul. Um, you have a lot of spirits around you. You stand for truth. You stand for justice. Okay, that's why, I, man, I'm picking up on your voice and that you have power right there. Right there. Um, you could be the cause of change, bringing forth new ideas, implementing different things. Um, you know, it's like using your voice and yourself for the highest good of all, and you will. Um, you are a wise old soul, my friend. You are wise. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the king of the four-legged, which would be the king of pentacles, and the gorilla, strength, nobility, and generosity. That's coming out right here with this toad, the seven of wands, inner strength and resources, and strength, nobility, and generosity. Do you see this? how much the animal spirits are telling you that you are very strong within. You are a strong, wise soul. You walk with the spirits, 
okay you are given a lot of guidance whether you realize that that's what's happening or not you could just be so tapped in from birth that the guidance you're given at the direction you're given is often received as like your own thoughts because that's how tapped in you've been all your life okay the spirits are with you they speak to you and um, you know they're gonna be giving you a lot of guidance and direction over the weeks and months ahead of what you should do and how to utilize your strength and personal power in a very noble generous way okay you have the upper hand you are powerful people will listen to you people will hear you so do not hold back at all all right under the loon we have the two of shapeshifters which would be the two of cups and a daddy long leg weaving deeper relationships so answers and hopes and dreams so some of you that have been really desiring a good solid steady like friendship spiritual companion um, that's coming in for you some of you this is a romantic relationship that's coming in for you there's an answer to a prayer happening for you guys all right and it's special it's significant and because this is general this is either a romance or this is like a friend a spiritual companion somebody who just gets you you guys click you guys fit together it's a beautiful connection it's like an answered prayer okay so that's showing up and lastly we have the hermit look at that owl wisdom vision guidance yes that is you this wise being is you okay and that sits on this justice underneath the wolf do not doubt yourself okay um, in the past you had to realize some things and this is holding back and really observing is going to bring this full circle and um, you know and then you're going to move into this new connection this is a new romance, a new friend, new spiritual companion. Maybe this is a connection to a new spirit guide or a new connection to a deeper depth of you really opening up to the spirit realm. Okay, and moving into the future, you are very sure of yourself. There's a lot of people who look to you for answers, for guidance. You are seen as an honest, strong individual who utilizes their personal power for the highest good of all, okay? You are not insignificant on any level. Let's pull some animal runes. All right, look at this. We have uh, Industrious, the rat. We have a spirit vision with the eagle, not surprised to see that. And we have the promise with the turtle. So you have right now you and in the recent past you've you're learning some things. There's just some things that you have to come into knowing, into understanding, okay? And that's basically where you've been working. Um, and so it might be a bit of a struggle, a bit of a challenge. But you're going to shift out of that. Um, this has really grown you and it's opened you up and activated different aspects of yourself that you weren't in vibration with prior of a higher level. And you're going to move into this beautiful connection with somebody, again, whether it's friend, um, romance, spiritual companion, spirit guide. And it, it's like you guys have an empathic, a telepathic connection with each other, with the spirit vision and the eagle. And then you move into the future again you there's a promise being fulfilled and you know we picked up on some of that here like a blessing happening for you so there is something beautiful coming in that makes you feel really good and uh, you're you are activating you are awakening spiritually there's some evolution and growth taking place all of your experience transforming into wisdom okay because the elephant the owl and the turtle those are all uh, you know references to wise old beings animals and um, if any of these particular animals are your personal spirit animal spirit guide animal totem um, 
the card that they're on and what's said and what it represents is especially powerful and more significant for you. So with the Black Panther, um, if that's your spirit animal, um, oh, you're in for a ride, okay? You are about to have a lot of things come into uh, perception for you, illumination, big time. If the ladybug is your animal spirit, um, you are headed for a very, very lucky streak. If the wolf is your animal spirit, um, you are really going deep within yourself um, and discovering what loyalty means and uh, knowing that you're strong enough to walk on your own, but you you are the leader of the pack, my friend, okay? Uh, the toad right here, this is about, you know, being resourceful, um, and also the toad is lucky. So you are going to receive a lot of luck, just like the ladybug, okay? But it comes from your own past energy and efforts of, you know, using what you had right then and there, being grateful, and just moving with the flow, and there's some magic coming in. If the loon is your special animal spirit, um, expect a lot of answers to come to you in the dream time, okay? Those of you where the elephant is your animal spirit, there is a huge activation taking place for you spiritually. You're going to the next level. If the gorilla is your special animal spirit, there is a strong message for you of coming into a lot of stability in the very near future. If a daddy long leg is your special animal spirit, um, there's a lot of blessing in relationship and connection coming to you. And the owl, if that is your special animal spirit, much like the elephant, you're having a big awakening um, in the soul, but there's some sort of uh, spiritual gift that's activating with that, okay? with the rat um, be prepared to have a lot of your past energy and effort pay off finally now if it's the eagle you are going to have a lot of psychic vision and foresight of things to come and if it's the turtle expect a promise to be kept um, that somebody has said in the past they're actually going to come through okay so any one of these that um is your special animal what they represent on each card is something very special and significant for you you know and with the wolf here it is time for you to feel safe to feel like you are amongst friends amongst people that you can trust but you are also the leader of the pack and you wouldn't be given that role if you weren't um, ready for that if you weren't somebody who knows how to properly utilize their personal power for the upliftment of themselves and others in a positive healthy loving way you are a leader and you know with the ladybug you are meant to come in to um, a streak of good luck you've earned it you deserve it it's time for you to be happy and with this black panther he's saying just sit back watch observe and you will be surprised at uh, what comes to you what you see in others what you see about certain situations okay so let's pull you one final card for advice We have the light. Look to the space between the trees for the answers, the light, the spirit realm. They are very much with you. You walk with the spirits. They want to guide you. They want to help you. They want to bring you all the answers that you seek. Okay, so um, embrace your journey. You are very blessed, my friend. All right, those are the messages coming through from the divine animal oracle i hope that this has helped and brought you some guidance and clarity and i am sending you lots of love and light take care hello let's see what the wild unknown animal spirit oracle has to say for you what guidance will be offered for you guys I'm going to start by pulling three cards to see the three strongest energies. Oh, we 
we've got the fox. So this is all about, um, you know, doing what you've got to do, being sly like the fox, but also um, if there's somebody around you who you feel is doing a little trickery, you might want to dig in and investigate further. But if you need to be sly as a fox to get some things done, tap into it, this energy of this spirit animal. Next out is, oh, you've got the firefly. So a lot of illumination coming to you, a lot of answers coming your way um, in the next few weeks and months ahead, okay, where you have felt in the dark no more um, where you have really felt blocked with like uh, your creativity just um, excitement for life passion for things if you've been feeling very lackluster there's something that's going to happen that's going to change that and reignite the fire within okay so that is quite positive and lastly we have the scorpion oh this here is letting you know that do not fear if you are backed into a corner you have everything you need to protect and defend yourself okay but more than that um, there is a lot of uh, spiritual energy around you that is protecting of you and also with the scorpion pick and choose your battles okay um, really decide if somebody is like pushing your buttons, upsetting you, trying to provoke you, you need to really decide if it's worth bringing the stinger out and going through all of that with them. Or is it better to just back away? If they're just um, shouting nonsense, you can't reason with that energy, okay? Um, that you just let them be their own crazy self and you be you. Um, really pick and choose your battles with the scorpion showing up okay so let's pull out some tarot and go deeper into uh, these energies Ooh, from the animal spirit and I kind of feel like we need to shuffle these up a little bit and make sure okay since they all flew right on out like that Okay, so under the fox, four of shapeshifter, the four of cups, the stick bug, activity beneath the surface. Yes, so um, if you feel like somebody is being, uh, you know, trying to be shady, trickery, any of that, investigate deeper, but quietly observe, okay? And um, some of you, if you have certain plans, and you know these plans aren't hurting anybody but you know um, there's just maybe some haters in your midst whatever it is some of your plans you may need to really keep to yourself It'd be sly like the fox alright <coughs> excuse me next out is the ten of the four legged which would be the ten of pentacles and the moose home birth primal mother so uh, this comes out under this firefly this is the energy that you are starting to move into this is healing this is supportive there's a blessing coming in for you and moving into the future we have the ten of shapeshifters which is the ten of cups and the grasshopper leaps of happiness okay so you have this blessing taking place, okay? And there may be some people that want to kill your vibe. And that's why the animal spirits are like, really pick and choose your battles wisely. If somebody's just trying to provoke you because they're jealous, let them be jealous. You know, they can be, they can be part of your fan club as a jealous hater. You know, just let them be what they are. Don't give in to their negativity because what's happening for you you absolutely deserve all right we have the emperor the eagle vision power healing um so there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes energetically for you and you don't see the evidence of that just yet but it, it's happening okay 
Um, next we have the Knight of the Four-Legged, which would be um, the Knight of Pentacles with the Cougar. Come into your own power. This blessing that's unfolding for you really allows you to regain your footing, and it feels like it's been a long time coming, but it's very steady, it's prosperous, it's long-lasting, okay? Next is the Eight of Ancients, which would be the Eight of Wands, and the Rat Snake. Acceleration and movement. So going into the future, you have this grasshopper um, with leaps of happiness and this uh, rat snake, which is acceleration of movement. So there's a lot of positive things happening for you. Pick and choose your battles. Let nobody steal your thunder. Don't let them kill your vibe. We have the Six of Shapeshifters, which is the Six of Cups, the Kinkata, happiness from the past. So there is energy from the past that is coming in on top of this. This could be a person that's returning to you, or this could be energy of something that you were hoping for or working on in the past and it didn't pan out and it returns to you in the present because now is the time for it to manifest and with that is the four of ancients and it's harmony and peace this would be the four of wands so um this returning of the past is very stable energy now in the present next we have the three of the four legged which would be the three of pentacles, the otter, creativity and skill. So this is that for some of you, the reignition within where you do feel passionate, where you do feel excited for what's happening, what's unfolding for you. And now we have the will of fortune with the bear. Heed inner voice cycles. You are shifting out of uncertainty into prosperity. A lot of things been going on behind the scenes for you. Keep your plans quiet from the haters, um, you know, the frenemies, all of those sorts of people because I do feel what's unfolding for you. Not everybody is going to be um, happy and excited. They're going to be a little jealous. They're going to be a bit hater about it. None of their business, none of your concern. What's happening for you, you deserve. It's energy from the past that's owed to you. We have the three of winged ones, which would be the three of swords, rose breasted um, grass beak, healing of the heart. Yeah, you are coming into some healing. And look at this, ace of shapeshifters, which would be the ace of cups, butterfly, new love, joy, and health. So you are really shifting in to a period of prosperity for whatever that means for you personally, okay? There could be some um, connection coming in. Um, there could be somebody returning from the past. Um, old dreams, goals, and ambitions that had to be put on the back burner are being reignited in the now. And there's this beautiful blessing that is coming for you and unfolding for you, which really restores your confidence, your excitement, all right? And you're shifting into that Ace of Cups energy. You You've got the wheel of fortune shifting out of the past, the uncertainty, having to keep things quiet because you can't trust it, you know, certain people around you and really coming into your own, into prosperity. So let's pull. We have the rabbit and wait, and this is talking about the past. Um, you've really kind of been in the hanged man mode. Some of you, um, you know, just waiting for certain things to happen, to open up for you. And the wait is about to be over. Oh, yeah, because right here where you're moving into change metamorphosis. Ace of Shapeshifters and the Butterfly. And now look at this. You have the Dragonfly and Shine. Moving into the future, the weeks to months that follow this, you are going to be so happy. There is a lot of positive things that are coming into your world and that are going to unfold for you. Okay, it's just um, keep your cards close to your chest. For those of you um, that know there's some haters in your midst, they may try to sabotage, they may try to make you feel bad, 
just ignore it and again really pick and choose your battles because you're moving into a period of prosperity and harmony and you absolutely deserve this um, return of energy of the past and I'm recording this in June June is the heart of retrograde season um, Mercury and Neptune is going to join the retrograde party and that is all about unfinished business unfinished energies of the past returning into the present you guys have a lot of that coming in but in a very positive way and any one of these animals that have shown up on the cards or the runes if that is your personal spirit animal the meaning and message of the eat that card or the rune is more significant for you personally okay so um, there's a lot of cards here so I'm not going to go through each and every one like I did in the other readings um, but you know put the the video back if you want to study each one um, you know more thoroughly but if your special spirit animal has shown up in this reading the message that I gave when speaking of that card is more powerful for you okay so um, let's get pull some more cards but we're gonna get these out of the way with the scorpion you need to know that you are a very powerful being and your words and your actions um, inflict very deeply into other people and somebody you know maybe a nuisance maybe on your nerves maybe provoking you but unless they're actually causing you real harm threatening you the animal spirits are saying don't engage that okay because your sting is very hard to recover from and I know it takes a lot for you to bring that stinger out but the animal guides are like nothing is worth ruining your flow the peace and harmony that you feel it's very insignificant compared to what's happening for you and where you're headed so really pick and choose your battles and you know with this firefly be prepared to be dazzled light finally breaking through the darkness a lot of illumination a lot of clarity coming in a blessing happening for you and also this reignition to your inner spark your inner fire and the fox pay close attention to those who um you feel are deceptive there is more beneath the surface don't give away your plans don't share too much with those people and you know where you need to be quiet about what you're doing be a sly like the fox all right let's pull you a advice card Like, why are they all upside down? There we go. Cleanse. Wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades. Yes, because good things are happening and unfolding for you. A lot of energy from the past is going to return into the present. And that's because the time is now for whatever it is. The um, energies are, you know, unfinished, they're incomplete, so they must return for the finale or the second chance, the second beginning or the final manifestation. All right, so those are your messages from the animal spirits. I am sending each and every one of you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello there. So let's see what the uh, spirit animal oracle has to offer and reveal from the animal spirits for you guys. Ooh, 
the horse spirit. Freedom is yours. It is time for a major breakthrough in some area of your life or um, in your mental body. You may be finally breaking free of some thoughts that have really held you back and held you down. Um, you really deciding to follow your heart and the calling of your soul. That is beautiful. Next out is the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. Look at that. Um, really pay attention to all these signs and synchronicities that are playing out in your life. Spirit is speaking to you. Spirit is guiding you. And, you know, there are some situations that may not be in your highest good. The spirit's going to let you know that you have free will. But spirit is going to give you warning. You've got to trust that. And where it's safe for you to proceed, spirit is going to give you that insight as well and point you in that direction. But you're going to receive a lot of intuitive insights and promptings. Pay attention. Follow what they tell you. You will be very blessed in doing so. And lastly, nice, you are a wise old being, you. You've got the owl spirit. We see it clearly now. So um, <laughs> things that have been hidden or mysterious to you are really about to come to light. A lot is going to be exposed um, over the next you know, days, weeks, and maybe months for some of you. But there's a lot being exposed, a lot coming to light for you really pay attention to every little detail all is significant right now there is no coincidence for you you've got the eagle and the owl coming through to guide you that is highly evolved energy that's the you know really high spiritual stuff the eagle walks or flies um, between heaven and earth you know they they touch heaven and uh, the owl a very uh, psychic is seeing through the darkness um, and can see all the way around right that's you that's the vision spirit is bringing to you all right and it's going to allow you to really break free from some things and you see this eagle has a crown this owl has a crown that's significant that's speaking of how high vibrational these animal spirits are and you couldn't have this coming in if you were not aligned to this frequency okay so you really have to trust your vision your dreams the imagery and symbolism in your dreams uh, signs synchronicity your intuition all of it because a picture is being painted for you which really allows you to break free oh that is so beautiful so let's uh, pull some tarot and go deeper And I'm going to shuffle these really well to make sure it's all your energy. Five of Winged Ones, which would be the Five of Swords, and this is the Goose. Heed the Call of the Quest. Ooh, look at you. Um, some of you may have recently had a spiritual awakening. Um, some of you are deeply feeling the state and tragedy of the world right now and the mourning that we're going through and the big change that must take place and the growing pains like you're really feeling that you are a very um, spiritual person you are very sensitive you are an empath okay and you have a higher purpose than just your own life journey here you are here to love to guide 
to heal, to help shift humanity, to help evolve humanity, okay? You have a higher purpose um, for this life journey. And um, I'm going to leave a link for your higher spiritual calling and gift to this video. I was planning on doing that already, and it will show at the end screen after your reading, so click on that. So if you are unaware of this, you will become very aware because your life is more than just your own. You are a higher evolved being. You are here to help shift and grow and evolve humanity. There is so much love within you. There is so much wisdom that lives within you. And this is past. You've really started awakening to this, okay? Now we have the five of ancients, which would be the five of wands, the gecko. Do... Uh, what you must in struggles. Okay, so you got two fives. So you have been going through a lot, a lot of shift, a lot of change. And look at up here, the eagle is 23. So that would be a five as well. And this is 33. This is 43. Um, 33 being in master number. So six, seven, five, six, Seven. Look at that beautiful progression of energy coming through. Um, but uh, also the threes, because 33, 23, 43, threes. That's like, you know, the trifecta of energy in which you are. There's this beautiful alignment taking place in, inside of you, an activation um, to like a deeper depth of who you are. Um, and you've been going through it. Some of you may have been going through dark night of the soul. This awakening may be a newer thing for you. And there's a lot that you've had to shed, a lot that you've had to shift as you transform into this higher vibrational being in which you truly are. Wow. And now look at this. You've got the eagle again. You got the eagle again. The emperor vision, power, healing. That speaks for itself right there. This is you going in to the future. Do you see the old you? And now you've transformed into your knowing, into your personal power. You do have the vision. You are empathic, okay? You see things. You sense things. You feel things. The animal spirits are confirming all of this for you big time. Okay, uh, you definitely have a spiritual gift, um, psychic ability, mediumship. Um, you know, there, there's so many, I can't even think of them all right now. But you've got something, okay? There is no way that you do not. All right, next out is the four of the winged ones, four of swords, chickadee. Seek the inner truth. You are the inner truth, okay? You may need to really drown out the voices and opinions of others and just tap into your heart, your soul, and see where you're being led because the spirits speak to you. And um, right here, what you're, what's happening, where you're beheaded, Ace of Shapeshifters, which would be the Ace of Cups, Butterfly, New Love, Joy, and Health. So you are absolutely transforming and um, shifting into a higher version of yourself, becoming very comfortable with your spiritual gifts, some of you. And lastly, we have the Four of Ancients, um, which is the Four of Wands, Harmony and Peace. So you, moving into the future, are going into a very stable solid energy, your crown chakra wide open, um, your ability to connect with the spirits and receive the guidance for yourself and for others, it's there, okay? You've got the eagle twice and you've got the owl coming through and then heed the call of the quest. You have a higher calling this lifetime and you're really starting to come into that knowing that understanding or you're shifting into a higher level of that mission for this journey. All right, and any card um, that has come out that represents your personal spirit animal, the message attached to that card as I was reading it is more significant for you, okay? So any of these that are your spirit animal, the message of that particular card is very significant for you. Take that to heart the most, all right? So let's pull some animal room.
we have the bear in her voice. Look at that. Seek inner truth. Heed the call of the quest in her voice. You are able. You are capable. You are strong. You are resilient. You are a wise old being. Okay? Um, you have a higher vision. You are very tapped into the spirit realm. Next to, oh my gosh, are you kidding? You've got the owl twice now, okay? And it's spirits. So, um, spirit vision, um, you see clearly now the owl and spirits. So, you've got the eagle and the eagle. You've got the owl and you've got the owl. And lastly, you've got the dragonfly shine. You are meant to really... Um, Help others to speak your wisdom. You are meant to be in the spotlight somehow, some way with your wisdom, with the depth of, what, of who and what you are. My goodness. And um, I just, I can't get over. I mean, I just want you to see like how many runes are in this bag. All right. There's, I think there's like um, 50 of these, 50 different runes. Okay. And I only pulled three, and one of those three was the owl spirit. Um, and you got the owl spirit there. And here, the emperor, you know, in this tarot deck, which is the um, eagle, that came out out of 78 cards. So the owl and the eagle spirit really want to work with you guys that have chose this particular reading. Research deeper into the spiritual meaning of each one of those um, animal totems. And don't just stop at like one website or, or one definition. Really dig deep because these two are coming in strong to work with you, to guide you. Um, you are here for a higher purpose and this is your confirmation of that if you have been asking and some of you are already very well aware of your mission and, and who and what you are and you are going to the next level of your gift, of your frequency. Okay, so let's, um, let's pull you guys some advice. Um, but yeah, you are, you're meant to walk a different path than the average human and um, I highly recommend you watch um, the video I did it's um, a pick a sacred geometry crystal of your higher gift and purpose for this life journey and I will link it below and it will also show at the end of this reading so let's see what the advice is forbearance forbearance do not be deterred by the thorn amidst, amidst the roses. So this speaks um, in layers and volumes. There is so much happening in the world right now. And this is the animal spirit saying, don't be deterred. Don't get sucked into the lower vibrational fear-based energies. You are a beacon of light. You are a beacon of love, of truth, of stability. Okay? You are here to assist in this change this growth and evolution of humanity. That is why you are here. Do not give in to a negative energy. Don't let it make you afraid. You are stronger. Okay, you absolutely are. So those are your messages. You are here for a spiritual mission and I'm so excited and I honor you and I thank you for being here at this time with all of us to share your light, to bring healing, to bring higher wisdom and understanding and growth to humanity. You have big purpose this life. Know it all the way deep, deep down, okay? You are something very special, my friend. Those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.